Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Macro Managed, put the pedal to the metal with super speedy foot pedal macros. There are two different foot pedals that will work automatically with Eclipse's foot pedal macros. Other programmable foot pedals may work as long as you program them to represent the correct keystrokes. However, these foot pedals will work automatically. The Infinity USB Model 2 and the Kinesis X Keys XK3 are the two confirmed working foot pedals with Eclipse at this time. And with these foot pedals, all you have to do is plug them in and open Eclipse, and they should work automatically. I'm in Eclipse, and by default, the foot pedal macros should already exist in your user settings. However, they are available if they don't, and I'll show you where to find them. I'm going to go to user settings, edit, and then macros. If I scroll down to the macros that start with FP, you see that I have a total of six macros representing the downstroke and the upstroke of all three pedals on the foot pedal. And so this means that when you push the center button down, it can have one command. And when you lift the center button back up, it can have another command. And the same is true of the left button left down, left up, and the right button, right down, right up. By default, these macros should already exist. And if I select the foot pedal center down macro, it is by default assigned to play. However, also by default, the center up button has no assignment. And this is true of the other buttons as well. Foot pedal left down is rewind, while foot pedal left up is blank, and foot pedal right down is fast forward, while foot pedal right up is blank. If desired, you could have foot pen. If desired, you could have foot pedal center up set to pause or stop. And if that's the case, while you have the foot pedal held down, the audio will play, and as soon as you release the foot pedal, the audio will stop. If for some reason you do not have these macros in your list you do have the opportunity to import any of the macros you'd like. I'm going to click on Import, and then I'm going to click on Portable Macros. Here you see that we have several built-in macros for foot pedal operation, including the three defaults that actually have commands for down as play, left as rewind, and right as fast forward. And I'm going to import all of the default down macros. So I'll choose foot pedal center down, foot pedal left rewind, and foot pedal right fast forward. I'll press OK. All three of the down command macros are in my list. If I double click, you see that the command that was in the name is represented in the macro itself. If you want to simply create your own macro for the foot pedal, you can do that too. Just click New, name the macro the same way as the naming convention, so you're going to start with F as in foot, P as in pedal. Then you're going to name the button. And then you're going to call on the direction. Next, I'm going to hit add. And I'm going to choose the command that I want to assign to that pedal. I'll press OK. And now you see that in addition to the three down commands that I imported from the portable macro folder, I also have a foot pedal center up that I just created, and that will work just the same way simply because I followed the naming convention. Additionally, I would like to mention that even though foot pedals are traditionally associated with audio controls, Eclipse will allow you to associate any command or sets of commands to the foot pedal buttons. You do not have to limit yourself to one step audio commands. The foot pedal macros are as versatile as your imagination. Once the macros that you want to use are assigned the way that you'd like to, simply press OK back to your job, and I'll press my middle foot pedal button to play the audio. My name is Ashley Hippodopoulos. Where do you work? I work for Advantage Software. I let go of the foot pedal button to pause the audio. If I unpause the audio, it should pick up where I left off after Advantage Software. How long have you worked there for? Oh, I don't know, you know.
and you see that that's exactly how it worked. When I pressed the foot pedal once more, the audio picked up where it was paused. When I released the pedal, the audio was paused once more. Whatever you need the foot pedal to do, Eclipse is ready to make it happen, as long as you have one of the correct foot pedals. The setup is quick and easy to use foot pedal macros. Thank you for watching this video. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 7. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772 288 3266. Email support is available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.